Hello and welcome to another coaching video. So today I'm going to be looking at a clip that was sent in last week from an archer called Ton. I hope I pronounced your name there correctly. Sorry if I didn't, but I'm going to be looking at this video this week and providing some detailed feedback on how you can improve. And this will also help anyone else who's watching to improve these areas and learn more about these specific areas of the shot too. So let's take a look at the video first and then I'll get into the feedback. So before we get started, for anyone that wants to get straight to the point, there are a lot of great areas of technique here in this video, so that's really nice to see. And you can tell this is a really serious archer, but the key area to improve here is the upper traps tension and the position of the shoulders during the shot. So this would be the key area to work on, and this would have the biggest impact on the shot. So that's what I'll focus on towards the end of this video. But now let's take a detailed look into other areas to improve and take a really detailed look through the whole video and go step by step through the process. So to start with, let's look at the good points in the video and I wanna highlight these to not only show uh, how this archer is shooting really well already, but also to just give a bit more clarity later on in terms of what areas we want to improve more as well. So first of all, the posture is really good and you can see that perhaps best from the picture of the, the angle on the second video clip. So if we go to that now, you can see here that the posture is pretty decent already and this is really good because you can see that the back is nice and flat here there's not an over overly big amount of arching there might be a tiny bit it's a little bit hard to see from the from the t-shirt but generally the posture is really good and you can see here also the chest is is not is not sticking up or anything and it's not arch so the posture is good here. Now the other thing that you can also see from this angle is the elbow line through the draw elbow and this is really really good and I mean this is really great so that I'm really happy to see this as well. So as you scroll through the video here you can see the elbow line even from this angle which is slightly to the side the elbow here is actually the elbow line here is actually past the line of the string and the arrow so this means that you know, when you're at full draw, the elbow is past that line and this makes getting to real full draw much easier. And then also it's much more likely that you can get a good release and a good expansion as well. And long term, this will really help your accuracy massively. So this is a really impressive area of the shot and I'm really, really happy to see this as well. Now, if we also look at the general shot from the first angle in the video, you can see that this is an archer who is very serious and knows the stages of the shot and is going through these stages nicely one by one and has a clear understanding of the shots. So that's really good to see. There's not anything missing here in terms of the steps of the shot. You can see that the archer is going through the stance and the posture, they're setting the hands, they're going through to the, they're opening and raising the bow, going through to set up, and then they come to full draw, expand, and then the release. It all follows a nice set out process and it's clear that the archer knows what they're doing here and has a good basic structure to work from. So that's really important and really is gonna pay dividends in the long run here as well. Now, this isn't something I say easily, but I think with this level of technique already and with a lot more hard work and a lot more training, obviously, I think this archer can shoot some really, really high scores. So I think this is really impressive and I think long-term this could be definitely someone to watch out for. So. Know, keep an eye out for the name in the future and when I say high scores I mean you know 680 plus I think this archer is definitely capable of that with a lot more training and work but this technique shows real promise and this archer is also really serious about what they want to do and how they want to improve so I think that's great to see so the other thing I wanted to mention as well which I really like is um, is obviously the yellow bow so thumbs up for that as well and uh, hit the like button if you if you want a yellow bow as well because who doesn't want a yellow bow? So yeah, I think this is really good. And now we'll get on to the other points about how you can improve and go into detailed feedback on every part of the shot where I can see some area for improvement as well. So now let's go through the other stages of the shot and see what specific areas need improvement here. 
and then we'll look at how to prioritize these. So first of all, the best area to see this is the third angle. So if we go to that angle, you can see that there's quite a lot of tension in the upper traps and the draw shoulder particularly is, is quite high. And then you can see the tension in the neck as well. So if I just rewind the video a bit here, you can see as the archer draws the bow and comes into full draw, there's quite a lot of tension around the upper traps and the neck here. And a tell, telltale sign of this is this, uh, this crease in the neck that you can just see above this line here. And then also you can see the same thing just here in the, in the side of the neck. That creasing of the neck is a telltale sign that the shoulders are too high and there's too much tension in the upper traps because if, they, if the shoulders were a bit lower and you were using the lower muscles of, of your back, you wouldn't see this crease in the back of your neck. So that's a, a key sign to look out for there. And you can clearly see that the shoulder is a little bit too high. You can also see on the video as well that the shoulder blades almost poke out from the t-shirt a little bit, which is another sign that the blades aren't quite as flat on the back of the rib cage as they could be. And this is another sign to, sh to show you that maybe the positioning of the shoulders isn't as good as it can be. So that's the, the main area here of the uh, upper trap tension and the neck tension. And then we'll go on to some of the other areas as well. Now, as well as the draw shoulder being a little bit high, the bow shoulder is also a little bit high. And you can see this also when the setup position is happening. You can see that the archer comes in and it appears like the bow shoulder rolls slightly it's not very uh, big the amount but you can see if you watch here as the archer comes in and lifts the bow it appears like just about here there's some rolling of the shoulder joint over a little bit and then this pushes the back of the shoulder blade slightly off the rib cage and you can see that through the t-shirt as I mentioned before so this slight rolling isn't a problem in itself but often it can cause a little bit of instability in the shoulder joint during the shot and then also it could make uh, you know, the chance of injury a little bit greater in the long run. So that's an area to improve as well. And you can see, as I mentioned before, the tension in the upper traps here, you can definitely see the muscles here are definitely more tense and they're not as relaxed as they could be. So generally the shoulders are too high and there's a bit too much tension in the neck. So that's another key area as well. Now, another area here is to do with posture and then the head movement. So if we go back to the first angle here, you can see that as the setup positioning is happening, you can see that the posture is slightly uh, compromised towards the target. So it looks like the posture is slightly leaning to the target and the archer is losing the core slightly as they do their setup position. So just as the bow is raising here, you can see almost that the, uh, the front of the body here, if you just watch, the front of the body here is kind of pushing towards the target a little bit too much and the posture is I'll exaggerate it here, but the posture is slightly angled this way rather than being straight like this. So I obviously exaggerated that with the lines there, but you get the idea and you can see how the posture is slightly towards the target there. Now to do with the head, as the archer comes into full draw, if you just, if I put a line here in terms of where the head is, and then as the archer expands, you'll see the head moving here a fair amount away from the target as the string is coming in and the, and the head is moving back. So this is uh, something that we'll show in a minute as to why this is happening, but this is a, obviously an area to improve as well, so that's really important. Now, as I said before, I'm going to be pretty picky here and I'm picking out pretty much every area here to improve just to give the most feedback as I can. And another area you can see here is as the archer is lifting the bow from the foot, it appears as if the bow hand is slightly too far over into the grip in terms of the the heel of the hand is slightly into the grip. It's a little bit hard to see from this angle, but that's what it appears like to me. And possibly the reason for this is that the archer is attempting to set the hand completely in the grip as the bow is on the foot, as you can see here. You don't quite need to set the hand that much at that stage, and you can fully set the hand a little bit later once you've raised the bow a bit, because setting the hand exactly you know, in the correct position, in the correct position on the foot can cause the bow shoulder to, you know, stretch out a little bit here and it feels like there's too much tension in the shoulder, which then can lead to the shoulder being a bit high, as we saw later in the video. 
and then also it can make it harder to get the correct feeling on the draw side as well and the correct bow hand position. So as you can see here, as the archer lifts, this bow hand position appears just under the grip here. Just under here, it appears like the heel of the hand is slightly far over and then this can also make the elbow rotation more difficult and this could be a reason why the archer feels the need to slightly roll the shoulder in order to get the elbow rotation. So perhaps making sure the bow hand is a little bit further round to get the pressure more on the pad could then help the elbow rotation and make it less necessary that the archer needs to roll the bow shoulder. So these, are, these things are all linked and uh, this is another key area here.